He was saying there's cones out there to the left where the DNR marked there's a hole. What? Where? But he's like... Do you see by that red vehicle right down there? There's cones right in front of it. He says there's 15, 16, in or 16 inches or whatever, but like... I don't know, he's like, you're gonna try it? And I'm like, yeah, we're gonna try it, but I don't know, what do you think? I can't tell, are they stuck, or what are they doing? I have no idea, but I don't see any cones. What, right? They're right there. They're right there. They're right by that vehicle. See, to the left of that red vehicle. It just feels weird to walk on it. Huh? It's just the slush broken up on the top. Yeah, look how thick it is. We're good. Look how thick it is. See where we're at. Hello and welcome back to another 40 Runners. We finally made it out on the ice here. Um, this is our second attempt to get in on this lake. We were here yesterday, um, tried driving out with the pickups. It was very sketchy on the ice yesterday, so we decided to come today and we walked way the heck out here. Um, we we're a pretty good ways out on the lake. Um, but um, we're out here, we're gonna go after some bluegills, crappies, and walleyes. Um, kind of your three staple fish here in Minnesota. So, Jude's retying, and um, yeah, I'm ready to fish. It's been way too long. Just got a tungsten with a little crappie minnow. And uh, yeah, line's in the water finally. Getting ready to go down with the jig and stick. And that's what I'm running right now. Not marking anything yet. I'm marking something on the bottom. And then something like three feet off the bottom. Pretty much the first marks I've seen. And we've been here for about a half hour. So we're kind of debating whether um, we want to move or just stick it out in this spot. First freaking fish of the day. Four forty. Been out here for two over two hours. We'll get that guy back down. The keeper go. Nice bluegill. I gotta get off my phone and start fishing. I can do this later. It's actually a nice one. Yeah. Good job, Jude. Very, very light bite. Really? Yeah. Well, I got one on me. That's a nice one. Dude, nice gill. Big gill. Why are, well, I'm using the same gall darn gill. thing. That's a beautiful gill. Big gill. Oh, that's a tank. Yeah. That's what we're after right there. That's a big gill. That's what we're after. There we go. Oh man, I finally hooked up. Nice gill. Probably an 8 incher. Perfect eater. Man. Super light bite. Jude's caught a few of these already. 
and uh, so we'll add her to the pile. Beautiful. Man, been out here for hours and finally caught one. Ugh. Crappy. There we go. There we go. Nice crappy. So yeah, we're starting to catch a few of them here. Jude um, has caught in three or four gills. Um, I'm onto this crappy and then a gill. But yeah, what we did is we switched up to um, super small presentation and um yeah they're few and far in between but um we're getting them oh i took it out of his mouth it's biting super little whatever it is little walleye little walter Holy cow, that's got to be the smallest one I've ever caught. Teeny tiny Walter. Probably another little walleye. Mm -hmm. I don't know, little gill. Oh man, he's wrapped around my my other line. All right, come here, little buddy. We're just gonna slide you over there. All right, now I gotta fix this line. Jude is the gill master. What is that like? Six for you? Four keepers probably already, but you had more than that. Look how foggy it is out there. Who's coming up? There we go. Probably another gill. Yep. Another gill. Well, it's getting pretty dark out. Um, Sadly, we got to get going. Things are just starting. I mean, for the last 45 minutes, we've been catching them. Um, it would be nice to stay out for another hour, but uh, it's a school night. We got, I think, five on the ice, uh, one crappie, and four, you know, eight to nine inch bluegills. Real nice ones. Um, wish they would a bit earlier, but they didn't. Um, so yeah, not the most entertaining video, you guys. Sorry about that, but that's how it goes. Um, it's called fishing and not catching. Uh, we come out here and, you know, you never know what's really going to happen. I wish we could have moved around more, but with the conditions of the ice, it's just... We, we got to a spot that we felt pretty good off of a, a sunken island back here. Um, about 12 foot of water, and staying put kind of paid off in the end. Um, but yeah, we're going to wrap up the video here. Uh, appreciate every one of you. Thanks for uh, watching. Um, give it a thumbs up. Um, like it, share it, uh, subscribe. Give me in that algorithm. Appreciate it. But yeah, until next time, uh, thanks for watching. That was a horrible outro.